power to draw that. It's a delight to stand here this morning in this holy place and acknowledge that God has been good to all of us. Not that we have been so good, but because of His mercy and His grace, we don't understand it right now, but we understand it better by Him. And it's in his name, his name, that we preach it to Sister Johnson, the first thing we have. Thank you for coming and sharing with us, to my wife, that's the trail, and that's each and every one of you. It's just good to be in the house once again. It's over here and let us know or remind some of us of something that we may not know. I want to read it again. This thing that's inside of us that's pumping out of the blood that is called the heart. The writer said the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Lord said he searched the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his way and according to the fruits of his doing. From, from those two verses, we want to talk to you from the subject heart trouble. Heart trouble. It was the picture of 2023 that was seen around the world. Even, even non-sports fans, uh, they were impacted as the Buffalo Bill safety, the Mar Hammond. He went into heart at arrest following a play on Monday Night Football. Medical teams uh, rushed in. And the tenants, uh, CPR was being administered. Finally, finally, uh, a faint heartbeat was detected. But it was so impactful that the remainder of the game was canceled. It affected everyone. It affected everyone. The players and the staffs, not from just one side, but from both teams, they went to their knees in prayer. A show of unity. The live broadcasters who were calling the game, they were stunned. But on, but on ESPN Sports Network, uh, there was a former football player who was also a devoted Christian. Uh, but the time when he saw what was happening, he started praying a lot on national TV. Yeah. What did he say? He said, God, God, we come to you in these moments that we don't understand. They are hard because we believe that you are God. And coming to you and praying to you has impact. We're sad, we're angry, and we want answers, but some things are unanswerable. We just want to pray. Truly come to you uh, right now and pray for the mom. For the healing of the mom. For the comfort of the mom. To be with his family. Uh, to give them peace. Uh, if we didn't believe that prayer didn't work, uh, 
He said, if we didn't believe prayer didn't work, God, we would ask this of you. But God, I believe. I believe in prayer. We believe in prayer. So we lift up tomorrow hand in name in your name. Amen. Many of us take, many of us pray for we believers for some reason we just believe. I know mama told us. I know your pastor told us. But we have come to the knowledge of understanding ourselves. We just Believe that prayer changes things. And that God will answer our prayers. Anybody here believe that? Anybody here believe that? Right. Right. But, 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 but how many of us know that uh, sincere prayers uh, must come from a pure heart? Uh, some of us are, are just going through the motions. Yeah, uh, but sincere prayer uh, must come from a pure heart, and since the heart is deceitfully wicked, something has to transpire within the heart. Uh, and here, and here in the scripture, uh, we see that Jeremiah, uh, he, the prophet, uh, the preacher, uh, he states that man's is very wicked. Above everything else, huh? Think about that. Above all that is, the heart is the most messed up thing up in the body. Thank you, brother. So, uh, we say we love God. Uh, we love one another. Uh, and we know that we must love our enemies as well. Uh, and, 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 Tell you the uh, that love can only come when we have had heart surgery. Uh, well, 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 let me tell you, what kind of heart surgery? Uh, huh? Heart surgery from God, uh, who is the only one able to change our heart. Uh, as we see the heart, what it is. Uh, and Jesus is concerned about it uh, because without Dr. Jesus uh, doing heart surgery on us, uh, we are doomed to everlasting hell. You can walk around and think you got it going on. Uh, uh, you can fake it to you and think you're going to make it, but if that heart hasn't been changed. You see, we have become very comfortable lying to each other. Uh, what you mean? What you mean? Telling them we love them when we really, we really don't. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's a hard thing. Uh, it's a problem with a heart. Uh, uh, for God of God, uh, Jeremiah tells us just how bad the heart is. Uh, the story goes, uh, this man this man was in love with his girlfriend. Uh, he poured out his heart to her. Brother uh, Evans, uh, listen, listen when he said, honey, honey, I love you with all my heart. Uh, I may not have much money, but I love you. Uh, I may not be driving a Lamborghini, uh, but I love you. Uh, I may not own a yacht. Uh, I mean, not on a lot that Johnny Brown uh, down the street does, huh? But I love you. Uh, to which she replied, uh, she said, I love you too, darling. Uh, but, but, but tell me a little bit more about Johnny Brown down the street. Uh, you, you, you see, you see, you, you see. We said one thing while the heart says another. The heart speaks. Uh, 
So again, I'm going to use an old, old analogy that you all know, you all know well. Uh, talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. Because a lie is easy to tell. Uh, many, many today are just like Israel. Uh, uh, like Israel was. Uh, they have forgotten the first of the Ten Commandments. Uh, well, 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 what is it, Pastor? I haven't kind of forgotten myself. Uh, uh, what is the first commandment? Uh, thou shalt have, uh, uh, thou shalt have no other God before me. Jesus also told us in the Beatitudes in verse 8, he said, Bless uh, the pure in heart, uh, for they shall uh, see God. Uh, now, 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 uh, uh, let me explain it. Let me explain it. You have to be in when you read stuff like that. Uh, uh, yes, the pure in heart will see God, but guess what? Though not so pure will see God. Uh, uh, but Jesus is saying the pure in heart not only will see God, uh, but they go live with Him. Uh, they go dwell with Him. They go have a relationship with Him uh, because their heart is but what does it mean? What does it mean to be pure? How, how, how do we define pure? Uh, as I thought about it, pure uh, and impure. Uh, Sister H, I, I really struggle with what to say here. How, how, how can I uh, uh, define it so you can understand it? Uh, because I don't want to gross you out, uh, uh, but I'm going to, uh, uh, for, for just a few moments. Uh, uh, let me share this with you. Uh, first of all, a pure heart is a heart that is without fault. Uh, uh, but but did you know the right time? Uh, 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 it contained 300 or more units of insect bits and two rolling hairs. Uh, for every three ounces that you use, you bring a rating off on this, on that, on that. Uh, uh, uh. When we think of pure, uh, it's definitely not the food. Uh, uh. But the FDA has deemed all of this acceptable, and honestly, it hasn't killed us yet. Uh, one more, one more. I had a bunch, but I just wouldn't put them on there. Uh, uh. I'm going to leave this uh, and then I'm going to leave this on. Uh, a cannonball. A cannonball that we buy. Hmm? It contains up to 30 or more insect parts huh? and some rolling hair. Huh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. My wife will tell you. Uh -huh. I, I, I love the hushy balls and the in them. Huh? Uh -huh. So we think this stuff is pure. Just because the FDA has labeled it, huh? but it got some impurities in it. Huh? But thank God, uh, it hasn't killed us yet. Huh? Uh, when we think of pure, uh, as I said, it's not in the food. Huh? We're talking about this statement from Jesus that the pure in heart will see God. Huh? So what does this mean and how do we get there uh, to understand to start with, understand Jesus is talking about being in pure in heart, uh, not pure in your efforts. Uh, because usually uh, we try to clean up our uh, act uh, by taking actions. Uh, we try, we try to cut down uh, on food. We try to exercise. We try to stop drinking, stop cussing, stay sober, read the Bible, pray, try to live sinless life. These are all good. They're all outward activities. Uh, but Jesus is talking about the pure in heart. Uh, he's referring to the internal purity. Uh, Jesus is speaking directly about our hearts. Uh, we know, we know our hearts must be changed. Uh, with things being changed, it will lead to an external change. Uh, when our heart changes, our, our lives will change as well. Uh, then our lives will reflect and produce results which are pleasing 
to God. Without God doing hard surgery on each of us through the Holy Spirit, we are lost. When we talk about who's getting ahead in the world, looking around on the surface, on the surface, it doesn't seem to be the pure in heart. That's getting ahead of us. It's those who are devious. It's those who are well. Those who are well connected. Those that who are low down. Those who, are, who, 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 who seems to be happy and blessed. They don't have a pure heart. But but they're being blessed. They're being blessed, but they're not the poor in the spirit of those who mourn, of the merciful, of the meek. No, not, not, not those. Those are not what Jesus was talking about. In Psalm 73, the author is start by revealing his heart. He said, truly God is good to his can I paraphrase it? He's been good to you. He's been good to me. Uh -huh. So, so, uh, hey, so, so, Sister Mon, truly God is good to us. Huh? To those who are pure heart. Uh, uh, he says, well, as for me, huh? Huh? my feet are almost stumbled. Uh -huh. My steps that nearly slipped. Uh, because for, I was envious huh, of the arrogant. Uh, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Uh, if we turn to verse 13 and 14, uh, we see him continuing to uh, struggle in his heart. Uh, he says, surely I went to church. Uh, I paid my tithes. Uh, I helped everybody. Uh -huh. But look like it has gotten me nothing. Uh -huh. I look surely in vain as I kept my heart pure. Uh, in vain as I wash my hands and hands. Uh, for all the day long I have been stricken and rebuked every morning. Uh, I try to do right with every morning. Uh, somebody gets on my last nerve. Uh, somebody talks about me. Somebody's cussing me out. Uh, Lord, I don't understand. Uh, Ace of here, Ace of has a team. Uh, 
But I'm so weak. That includes me. Uh, we, we, we too often huh, feel the same way uh, that it is in the field. Huh? If, we were, if we were to be really honest, uh, it's still a struggle uh, to be love and purity to reside in our hearts. Uh, huh? Huh? Jeremiah helps me make sense of it when he wrote, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Huh? We don't always understand our heart, do we? Huh? We do things, huh? we say things which are amazingly hurtful. Huh? We tell stories huh? when we don't know a story. Huh? 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 Uh, Jeremiah was correct. The heart is deceitful. And beyond you, uh, so I want to add to to it in this Proverbs in 29, writing uh, the Lord, huh? Uh, he, he he tells us uh, that who can say I have made my heart pure? Uh, huh? I'm clean from my sin. Who can say that? So, yeah. 
That's why that would be a change. Huh? That would come from a new identity in Christ. Huh? A change heart leads to a new life. Huh? A new way of living. Huh? A new way of thinking. Huh? A new way of believing. Huh? A new way of feeling. Huh? So when we seek God, we draw near to God uh, so we can find His grace and mercy. Uh, we accept His forgiveness uh, for whatever it is we done. Uh, guess what? Because He loves us. Uh, he washes away our sins. Uh, uh, the dirt, uh, He washes away. We are cleansed. We are purified. Uh, we are washed. We are made white. Oh, that is not us. Uh, God given us a new heart. Uh, Recognize now that we are a new creation, uh, and because our hearts are changed, uh, we become a bit more pure. Uh, now, now that you have a clear picture uh, of who God is in our life, uh, Saint Augustine said in the fifth century, uh, in his famous book, The City of God, uh, talking about us. Uh, he said, "Now at best, because of our fallen nature." Impurity of heart. Huh? In this situation, if we see God, huh? we see through that glass dark. Huh? But it may not always be so. Huh? When the body is free from corruption, huh? it offers no hindrance to the soul. Huh? The saints will certainly need no bodily eyes huh? to see what is there to be seen. On the Lord's day, uh, which is to last forever. And, and did anybody beside me want to huh, be there? Huh? Yeah. Uh, get me, guess what? For me to read this, uh, to, uh, guess what? I, 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 I'm not going to need any glasses in here. Huh? Huh? I'm not going to need no doctor uh, in here. Huh? Uh, we shall see him as he is. Huh? Huh?
God. Uh, Psalms, uh, Psalms 1, uh, put it best, uh, the right, uh, comparing the ways of the righteous and the wicked. Uh, listen what it says. It says, bless uh, is the man uh, who walks uh, not in the counsel of the wicked, uh, nor sin uh, in the way of sinners, uh, nor sit uh, in the seat of scoffers, uh, but his light uh, is in the Lord of the Lord, uh, and all uh, his beloved, uh, he meditates uh, daily and night. Uh, Yeah. <laughs>